Hello everyone, I'm Cam and welcome back to Vora Motors. Today we're going to answer a common question that we get asked a lot. Can your electric scooter fit in a car? More specifically, we're going to take a look on whether our four most popular electric scooter models, the E-Move Cruiser, the Cabo Mantis King GT, the E-Move Roadrunner, and the Cabo Wolf King GT can fit in different types of vehicles. For this experiment, we'll be testing out these four scooters individually in a coupe, sedan, and an SUV. We chose these four scooters primarily because of their size differences so that you can get a better visual idea of which scooter fits best. First, we'll try putting each electric scooter in the trunk of every vehicle to see if it fits. But if it doesn't, then we'll try fitting the scooter through the side doors of the same vehicle next. For our first test, let's we'll start off with the E-Move Cruiser along with the smallest option, the Coupe. If you have a two-door Coupe, your space may be limited, but it's still quite possible that the Cruiser will fit inside. Most trunk spaces in most Coupes are too small to accommodate electric scooters. However, because the portability of the E-Move Cruiser is so convenient, it's capable of folding the handlebars, the stem, and lowering the stem if needed. Plus, this compact scooter is fairly light, coming and weighing at about 52 pounds, so let's test it out to see how well it does. Moving on to our second test, we're going to be using the Cabo Mantis King GT. This powerful dual motor scooter weighs in at about 74 pounds and is also capable of folding the stem and locking into place, making portability much easier. Although it's not the lightest weighing scooter, will it fit in a coupe? Let's find out. For our third test, weighing in at about 55 pounds, we're going to be using our highly popular seated electric scooter, the E-Move Roadrunner. Now, unlike the first two scooters on this list, this seated scooter is only capable of collapsing near the handlebars, but you do have the option to remove the battery, making it lighter to pick up and easier for maneuvering. Let's see if we're able to fit it in the back of the coupe. Lastly, we have the biggest and the baddest of the four scooters, the Cabo Wolf King GT. This dual motor monster comes in weighing at about 115 pounds, and it is also capable of folding down near the stem as well. However, because of its weight, it isn't the most portable or convenient for traveling. Nonetheless, we know that there are going to be several riders that still may want to take the Wolf King GT along with them, so let's find out to see which vehicle this monster scooter fits in. Bring the baseline back around again. And there you have it. To sum up, 
All four electric scooters are highly capable of traveling along with you in a vehicle after some minor adjustments. It all just depends on the type of vehicle that you're traveling in. From the compact, lightweight Emu Cruiser to the heavy-duty Cabo Wolf King GT, we've tried them all in a coupe, sedan, and SUV to give you guys a better idea of what to expect when it comes to transporting your electric scooter. We hope that this experiment has been helpful for you and provided some valuable insights. If you have any other comments or questions regarding traveling with your scooter, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, safe riding. Line back around again.